In the early 1900s, the United States witnessed a peculiar practice that has since become a quirky footnote in postal history. It was reported that children were being sent through the mail. This unusual service was a byproduct of the United States Postal Service's parcel post system, which began on January 1, 1913. The parcel post service was revolutionary, allowing Americans to send large packages across the country. However, it also led to some unexpected uses. Shortly after its inception, an Ohio couple sent their eight-month-old son to his grandmother's house via mail. The child, just under the 11-pound weight limit, was mailed for only 15 cents in postage and was insured for $50. This event was not an isolated incident. Over the next few years, several cases of children being mailed were reported. One of the most famous cases involved four-year-old Charlotte May Piersdorf, who was sent over 73 miles to her grandparents' house for just 53 cents. These children were not simply placed in sacks and tossed with the general mail, but were accompanied by postal workers or relatives who worked for the postal service. While these stories have captured the public's imagination and have been retold as charming tales from a bygone era, it's important to note that the legality of mailing children was never established. In fact, it was never officially permitted, and after a few such instances, Postmaster General Albert S. Burleson banned postal workers from accepting humans as mail in 1914. The practice highlights a time of innocence and trust in the postal system and the close-knit nature of some communities. It also underscores the adaptability of postal services and the unexpected ways in which people make use of new systems and technologies. Today, the idea of sending children through the mail seems unimaginable and, rightfully, illegal. Yet, this peculiar episode remains a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of people and serves as a reminder of how far we have come in terms of child welfare and safety regulations.